Hey everyone, my name is Vanessa and I'm an activist legal worker. Hello. Today I'm teaming up with XR Youth US, Zero Hour, Future Coalition, and the International Indigenous Youth Council to bring you this Know Your Rights training. I'm gonna be talking about ways to keep yourself and your fellow community members safer from police misconduct when you're protesting. As we all know, interacting with the police is very dangerous because while you have the right to express your views through demonstrating, police can and do violate them. And it's even more so for black, brown, indigenous, undocumented, trans, queer, disabled, and other targeted cultures and identities. That's why it's so important to remember that we keep us safe and knowing your rights is a big part of that. Let's start off with how to prep for a protest. First, bring your ID. If you're arrested, you could, be up, you could be in custody longer if the police have to look you up. Second, don't bring anything with you that you don't want to lose or you don't want the police to see. Third, put a pin lock or passcode on your phone and disable the facial recognition unlock feature. Fourth, have a local legal hotline number memorized or written in Sharpie on your body. You have the right to a phone call if you're arrested and are in custody, and this will be the number you call to alert the community that you're in need of help. Fifth, tell a trusted friend who isn't at the protest where you're going, your full legal name as it appears on your ID, your date of birth, and any medical needs. Lastly, if you're not a legal U.S. citizen, if you're undocumented, consult an immigration attorney before going out to protest. They'll give you the rundown of potential legal consequences if you do get arrested, what to bring with you, and what to say if you're arrested. But remember, do not disclose your immigration status to anyone but your lawyer, not to the police or not to any law enforcement official. You just need to tell them your name and date of birth. Now let's move on to what to do if you're detained or arrested at a protest. The first and most important thing is don't talk to the police ever, like never, ever, ever. Anything you say can be used against you or others. You only have to provide the police your legal name, address, date of birth, and any medical needs. If the police do ask you questions, say this important phrase. I choose to remain silent. If they don't stop asking you questions, keep repeating it. Let's practice to build some muscle memory. I choose to remain silent. I choose to remain silent. I choose to remain silent. Next, the police can't search you without a warrant or cause. If you're being detained, the police do have the right to search you and pat down the outside of your clothing. But if anything happens outside of that, it's an illegal search and you have the right to say, I do not consent to a search. If the police keep searching you, there's not much you can do in the moment. Don't resist because you can be charged with assault or resisting arrest. Instead, repeat, I don't consent to a search and make sure there's a witness that can write it down. We'll fight it later in court if needed. If you believe your rights have been violated, when you can, write down everything you remember, including the officer's badge, patrol car numbers, and the agency they work for. Get contact information for witnesses and legal observers and take photographs of any injuries. Then file a written complaint with the agency's Internal Affairs Division or Civilian Com Complaint Board. If you're trans or gender non-conforming, you have the right to the gendered cell of your choice. In some places, this may or may not happen. Before you risk arrest or go into the streets, research what has happened in the past in your district and make an informed decision about the possible placements you could be put in if you are detained or arrested. Now, just a few things to remember while you're in the streets. The first, Police aren't required to read you your rights if you're arrested or tell you the truth about why you're arrested, your protests, your processing, release, or anything. And they will lie. Don't believe them. Second, don't go to demos alone and have your friends backs in the streets. Make sure everyone you came with gets home safely. Lastly, don't touch the police or any of their stuff. It could be considered assault on a police officer. So that's it for me today. 
But if you want more information on your rights, more specific legal analysis, or if you need legal support, research local legal hotlines and support in your area. The National Lawyers Guild is an excellent organization and resource to start with. Keep safe out there and see you in the streets.